hello again and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are on for the first time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. You have landed on the channel of Birth and Bosses with Felicia and I am Felicia. So guys, I hope you're having an amazing day. For those of you that are already boss buddies, welcome back to the channel, okay? Guys, we are on another video. We are on a roll tonight. Do you hear what I'm telling you? We are making baskets back to back. We are making arrangements back to back. We ain't playing no games, y'all. We are in crunch time, and we are designing our butts off, okay? We know what this week consists of. Those of us that have been designing gift baskets, um, and even if you haven't, I hope you've caught on to the buzz that this is one of the greatest holidays to be preparing for to make major books, okay? So I am in the process of making two different baskets. I hope we have time to make both of them on this video here. These are some hearts. And if you are watching videos that I'm uploading back to back, then some of this information is going to be redundant, okay? So here is some actual um, hearts that I got on a string from Dollar Tree. And which each, with each project, I'm just disassembling these, taking them apart and using them for whatever I need to use them for, okay? So this basket here that I'm actually building, I was going to go ahead and have it built like this one um, before I got on the channel, but I'm actually going to build it while you guys are up here, okay? Because I have to keep in mind that new people are joining. And then also, if you're not new, you still may be new to gift basket designing, okay? So this box here is just an ordinary box that was wrapped by my mother. There is a video, and I will try to remember to put a link to that video to show you guys how to wrap these boxes. Maybe you don't have time for Valentine's Day, but you definitely have Easter and Mother's Day coming up. And this saves you money if you're not able or do not have the money to invest in buying baskets. And maybe you do, but you still just want to save money. This is a great way to do that. So guys, what I do is when I'm using boxes, the actual lids that my mom cut off the box, I keep everything. When I tell you guys I recycle everything, I do, okay? What sense would it be to put tissue paper or um, shred in a box? And first of all, the person is only going to throw it away. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is it's going to take so much product to actually build up to the place where your items will be seen. Keep in mind when you're building gift baskets, you want to keep everything eye level. You do not want to have people to have to look down in your basket or box or platter to see what it is that you have. You want to keep everything eye level so that they know exactly what they're buying and what they're getting. So the cardboard, I recycle it. I just put it in the bottom of the box and then I start to put newspaper, okay? You can use magazine paper or any type of recycled paper. Just make sure you're using clean paper, okay? We don't wanna put no paper in the uh, boxes that the dog then laid on or peed on and all that kind of stuff, okay, y'all? We wanna keep it clean and professional. So once we put the newspaper in there, then we wanna go ahead and put the gift tissue paper here. I hope you guys were able to pick some of this up after Christmas. If you weren't, you know to be looking for it next year, okay? So this gift basket that we are, or gift box, that we are creating is simply going to be a fitness um, workout box, okay? And I know some people may be saying, who wants to receive um, a workout kit or a fitness um, basket? Trust me, I sell these every year and they're never, they are never left on the table. They always get sold, okay? And actually, this is a gift that I would love, okay? Because those of you that follow me know that I go to the gym quite frequently, and this would actually be something that I would enjoy um, rather than a bunch of candy and stuff that I know I can't have, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and sit the tallest items towards the back. I always tell you guys that then you can build upon it, okay? And I know some of you are having trouble with your items sitting up. If you build everything up and give it a sturdy um, foundation under the tissue paper, then you will have something for the items to stand upon, okay? 
Then you want to make sure you have some transparent tape, not frosted and not the um, tinted tape, but actual transparent tape so that you can um, tape your items one to another and that way it keeps the items together, okay? Some people use glue dots or whatever. Use whatever you have and whatever works best for you, okay? Here we have a reflective safety vest. If you go out running, cycling, or whatever. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, this is an instant cooling towel that we have here. Okay, so I'm just going to play around with it and see what side I want to put it on. Because I always try to make sure that every item is seen, okay? Even though people still going to ask you, what's in here, okay? <laughs> but I make sure that I have stuff where they're able to see it. Even if they ask that, it's so that I can see it and I can explain it to them. I don't have to guess what's in there because items have fallen down or down in the bottom of the basket and I really don't even know what's in there, okay? So I make sure that everything is eye level so that I can see it or they can see it. So that I can see it if I have to explain what's in it and so they can see it if they just want to look, okay? Y'all know how you give people information and it be sitting right there, but they'll still ask you, um, what did that say or what time does that start? Like, boo, read the flyer, read the paper. But, y'all, we got some people that are not going to read and they're not going to listen and they're not going to boo, okay? So, that's where we as great boss buddies come in at because we're going to tell them, even though they can see it, <laughs> because we want to make that sale, right? So I'm just going to go up in here and add a little bit of red. And you can add whatever color you want. Um, I thought I had something else. Oh, I have some of these women Gillette razors. We're going to stick them right in here. And guys, all these items that you see, every single item in this basket, I paid one penny for it. One penny, one penny, one penny, one penny, one penny. So one, two, three, four, five cents that I've spent on this basket. I know it sounds unbelievable, but trust me, boss lady would not tell you a lie, okay? <laughs> I only paid five cents for it. And that's why I make the money that I make because of the way that I shop, okay? So guys, the more you're on this channel, the better you're going to be able to save, make money, and make profits, Okay. So I'm just kind of looking at my table now to see what I want to add. These were all the items that I already had um, pre-arranged in here. And now I just want to see what I want to add. Oh, I did have these, but I don't think I'm going to add these. I had some dried pineapples that I wanted to add in here. And they are actually good um, until the end of the month, okay? But I don't think I'm going to put those in there. I don't. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'll stick some chocolates in there. I know that's going to be contradictory if they're going to be a person that's working out. But hey, maybe maybe Valentine's Day will be their treat day, okay? So we're going to add it. We're going to add this box of chocolate in there. Still have it where everything is able to be seen. And we're still taping items one to another, okay? And then we're going to put some nice Dove body cream in here, okay? After she works out, she definitely going to need to get her a nice hot shower. And she can finish it off with some Dove cream, okay? So this is a cute little fitness basket where I spent one dollar and twenty-five cent, one dollar two twenty-five and five. So I spent two dollars and thirty cent on this basket, and um, the box was free. So with the paper, we're just gonna say maybe I spent maybe two fifty, okay? Because these come in rolls, and I'm able, my mother is able to wrap about four or five um, boxes from each roll. So we're gonna say about two dollars and fifty cent for this basket. And guys, we can sell this basket from anywhere to from $40 to $45. And I really could sell it more, but I don't want to rob the people. Now, I will get a great profit from it because, hey, 
that was my blessing. I always say that. If I get something for a penny, I'm still not going to charge you just a few dollars for it because the value of the items are well worth more than a penny. The fact that I got down and bent down and squatted and reached and took and did all of that to get these items because that's what I have to do when I penny shop. That was my blessing and my profit, okay? So I am going to pass some of the savings on to you because I'm not charging you what every item actually is. But I'm definitely going to make me a great profit being that I only spent $2.50 at the most, okay? And we'll even stretch it to say $3 once we um put the bow in the wrap, okay? You guys see that I use rolls of cellophane wrap. Now, being the size of this box, I normally would use shrink wrap. But because there still is issues with some of the boss buddies with not knowing what type of paper to use or um, one of the questions I was asked is, can you shrink wrap cellophane? And the answer is no. This paper does not shrink. And I will show you um, once I get it wrapped up that it does not shrink. I don't care how much heat you put on it and magic you work on it, it's not going to shrink. It was not designed to shrink, okay? So this is cellophane, and like I said, this size box, I would normally use shrink wrap. For all of my boxes or baskets that fit in my shrink wrap bags, I use shrink wrap because I actually love shrink wrap better than this. But um, once you've been in the game for a while, you can learn how to almost make this look like shrink wrap, okay? It's not going to be as tight and fitted as shrink wrap. But you will learn how to pull and gather your basket to the point where there will be no excess or baggy um, plastic. When I say baggy, I mean loose um, plastic that's hanging around, okay? Because sometimes you see where the bag look like it's about the, it's just absolutely too big. That's simply because um, the person may not know how to actually tape and tuck to get it to have a tight, firm look, okay? So just because you don't have shrink wrap bags, do not let that stop you from having a professional presentation, okay? And what we're gonna, what I just did was just cut off some of the excess. And again, my famous, magical, transparent tape. Just go and tuck and pull, okay? Tuck, uh-oh. Tuck and pull. You want to make sure you're pulling it so that it's firm and it's taking out all of the loose plastic, okay? And just keep going down, tucking and pulling. And then we're going to take this at the bottom and we're just going to um, kind of get away, y'all. Make sure it's secured under there. And you see, it's not as tight as shrink wrap, but it's not any loose material or loose plastic on that side, okay? And we're gonna come over here and just cut off some of the excess. You don't have to, but this just keeps it from being so bulky on the side when you cut off some of the excess plastic. Again, we're gonna fold, tuck, and take. Fold, took, and tape. Make sure you're pulling it really tight and firm, okay? This Dollar General tape is really, really good. If you're using a tape that is not that good, it's not going to give you a firm um, pull. So make sure... You're using a good tape. Doesn't have to be expensive. The quality just needs to be good, okay? Because this tape here, I only pay a dollar for two rolls, and quite a bit of tape comes on the uh, roll versus the tape that you're getting from the Dollar Tree. Um, the Scotch tape is a good brand tape, but it's not any tape on that roll. Don't fool yourself by going to Dollar Tree thinking you get a better deal because you're not. 
And we're going to go up here and put the excess off the top. Okay. I'm so short, y'all. My arm's so short. But of course, I normally would be standing up, cutting that off the top. But we will cut that off the top. And we will be making a bow to go up there. I'm not going to do that on camera because I got other things to do. If you want to know or see how to make a bow, quite a few of my videos have it up here. Now, I'm showing you guys that heat does not do anything for cellophane. Okay. Let's get it to come on first. See? You can blow dry this from now until Jesus come back. It's not going to do anything. Okay? So no. Cellophane, crystal fame, wrap. It does not do anything. Okay? So don't waste your time or run up your light bill trying to get it to shrink. Okay? So that's one basket. Ain't that cute, y'all? Of course, y'all know I got to put my beautiful professional bow up there. But you see, it's all firm and took and taped. Let me tuck it a little bit more right here. I don't like that. I ain't going to say I'm a perfectionist, but I just like what I like. And I like for my stuff to look professional. Because if I was buying it, I would want it to look nice and professional. Okay, so here's a cute little basket, y'all. Okay, and this one I've already glued down everything. If you have not seen how I prepare these unbaskets, please go back. There's quite a few videos on my channel. In other words, y'all, if you have not watched my videos, just binge watch them. Make sure you're working while you're binge watching, but binge watch my videos. They will help you greatly. I promise you they will. So I've already glued all of this stuff down. It's not going absolutely anywhere. I've already glued down everything and taped the earrings to the dove. And so we have dove bath and body works here. We have a candle. We have some chocolates and we have a cute little, um, little picture display whatever you want to call it where you can sit on your table in your office or wherever you want to sit it and y'all we're going to do shrink wrap on this one so that i can show the difference to those that do not know sorry for all of the rattling We're just going to lift these up. Pull it up. Pull it up. And I use um, these ties. I call them, um, what do you call them? Pipe hangers. Some people don't, but I, that's what I call them. And um, you just going to gather your shrink wrap at the top. Grab it at the top. And you're always going to be left with these ends. You're always going to be left with the two corners. Here's your famous Amos tape. Lift it up. Go to the corner. Touch it under. Go to the other corner. Lift. And tuck. Okay. Tape going to stick to my finger on this one, but lift and tape, okay? Once you do that, we're going to try to get as much air out as we can. Start, always start at the bottom. Go up under your, pl your plating or your platter, whatever you want to call it, or your basket if you're doing a basket. And just work your way up. 
up and around. Make sure this is just a regular hand blow dryer that you will blow dry your hair with. I believe it's 1875 watts. Always blow dry on high. Work your way up. Hold this up and out of the way so that it don't shrink. You want to keep this tall. Even though we're going to cut it, you don't want it to get crumbled up because if you keep, keep it in a way, it's definitely going to shrink that part up. We don't want that to shrink up, okay? And just work your way around. Just keep blowing until you get it as firm as you like, but do not keep it in the same spot for too, too long because, baby, it will burn you a nice little hole in it. But you really don't have to worry about burning a hole in it with your hair, hair dryer. I don't, I've only burnt the hole in it a couple times. And, it, no, it actually wasn't a burn. The hole actually came from an object that I had in there that was um, piercing the side of the bag, okay? So you're not, you don't really have to worry about burns with the um, blow dryer. Here and there, you may get one or two, but for the most part, you don't have to worry about it. So here you see the difference in the firmness of the bag. And here it has a little bit of gathering right here because of the circular um, fashion of this. If it was a... Um, square box like this it will conform but being that this is a circular thing it's definitely got a little bit of gather right here but it's very firm it's not going absolutely anywhere everything in here is secure and all you gotta do is put your cute little bow up there and call it a day and voila you have a unbasket ready to go ready to roll and i think i will for this one just for the sake of the video give you guys a quick bow i'm not going to give a tutorial on it like i said go back and watch some of my videos but i will show you how quick and simple it is to make a bow it takes less than a minute to pull a bow together Pipe cleaner that's already up there. Take your bow, put it around, twist it, and go to the bottom and cut. Okay. I always like to duct tail the ends of my bows. And there you have it, guys. A cute, a cute little Valentine's Day gift. And you can even take these little, um, little hearts from Dollar Tree and you can stick them right in the middle. If you want to give it a little bit more Valentine's Day appeal, put your little heart up there. And there you have a beautiful um, basket. Okay, guys? If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching Birth and Bosses with Felicia. Have a great night.